In this video, we're going to look at working with fades in Pro Tools. We'll start with fade ins and fade outs. First, you'll need to select the beginning or ending of a clip. Then you can select Edit, Fades, Create, or press Command F on the Mac or Control F on Windows. This will bring up the Fades dialog. Then you can choose one of the seven preset fade shapes. Or if you choose the standard or S-curve shape, you can click and drag in the window to customize the shape. You can also set the slope to equal power or equal gain. And if you click the speaker icon on the upper left corner, you can audition the fade. Once you're happy with the fade shape, click OK to create the fade. To make a crossfade, you'll first need to make a selection across the boundary between two clips. Then once again, choose Edit, Fades, Create, or press Command F on the Mac or Control F on Windows. And the Fades dialog box will appear. Here you can choose separate in and out fade shapes, then click the speaker icon to audition the fade. Then create the crossfade by clicking OK. If you don't have sufficient underlying audio information in both the outgoing and incoming clips, you may see the following error message. Here you can tell Pro Tools to skip the invalid fade or to adjust the bounds of the fade to make use of whatever underlying material is available.